Welcome back to Transport Fever. So today we are looking at building our first refinery, oil refinery. We're going to start bringing fuel into our cargo hub that we've got here. If you didn't see last week's stream, so I've kind of already started this, or the area where it's going to go anyway. So from the cargo hub, what I actually did was cut like a big trench down here. So we probably need to do a bit more work just to straighten these edges up. But the ore refiner is going to go somewhere around here. I might need to remove this road and make that a bit straighter. But somewhere around here we'll have it. And then the actual oil. In fact, we've got a couple of oil places around here already. So we could probably use them. Oh, there is an oil refinery up there as well. But we're not going to use that one. We're going to build our own down here. So I think we'll start off by... Let's get rid of this road, I think. Or we'll just change it a little bit at least. So we want the bulldozer, let's go. And we'll just call this back. Do need to do... Do I need to do anything over here? I think I'm going to do a town over here at some point, so... I don't need to worry about this. So they're not whining that I've removed their road. Let's take all that back. There we go. So let's neaten this up a little bit, I think. And which one do we do? So let's go with that. Go with a decent sized brush. Let's go with a go with that brush. Yeah, I think that might be okay. What I want this to kind of be is a bit like the Suez Canal. That's how you say it, Suez? Suez? So we'll tidy that bit up on the end in a second. Let's just do this side as well. What we'll do on this end bit is just smooth it off a little bit. Let's get a bit of bigger brush. There we go. Oops. That's made it a bit worse, but never mind. That'll do. Let's smooth that back a bit as well. And we'll smooth all this out. We'll leave that as it is there. And then here. Where we're going to put the oil refinery. Probably about here. How are we going to do this bit? Let's cut that back a bit. And we'll grab an oil refinery. So, where is it? So do we want to do the oil refinery here? Or do we want to do the fuel refinery here? Maybe it's the fuel refinery we want to do here. Okay, that's what we'll do. So we do want it as close to where the uh, shipping yard is going to be. So maybe about there. Hopefully that will connect up. And then we'll bring in the... I think it's crude oil. But, or is it just oil? I can't remember. We'll bring that into here. So that does mean we're going to need a station. But we'll do that in a second. So what we'll do first is put the, what do you call it, in the dock, the car, the harbour. So we do actually have custom made one. I say custom made one, it's a mod. This is probably going to have to be cut out. Do we want to do that? Okay, let's go there. Right, I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to make this level to here. So let's go flat and tall. And let's go smaller brush for starting. And then we'll just make this 
as level as we can. That level. So. Probably doesn't matter so much this side. And we need to get rid of that road as well. We smooth that off a bit. That looks pretty good. Right, let's increase the brush size and we'll make that quite a bit flatter over here. Probably we'll tidy some of this up later. So it doesn't really matter how it looks over here. There we go. I'm just going to smooth some of that off so it looks a little bit better. There we go. That's it. Right. That's now in a good place. Let's get that ore refinery back. Fuel refinery even. And if we put it about... There. The road that we put in along here hopefully we'll then just stretch so we do a small road of course it's not going to stretch well, it will stretch but okay let's do that no that's going to glide there we go that kind of looks okay So what I think I'm going to do is get, probably get the like the components of it all together first, and then we'll make it look nicer after. So that's okay there. We'll do a bit more of a road off here. Yeah, let's just do this road. I want it straight. Then I think the station will have. So we want train. We're going to do this by mostly by train, I think. Let's do building, and we want cargo. So let's flip that round the other way. Not like that. Who knew that B was uh, bulldoze? Shortcut for bulldoze. Let's see if we can get that straight. We want, let's go with four. Go with two, three hundred. High speed. There we go. Not entirely sure how many places we're going to be bringing um, oil in from, so let's go with that, I think. That may be on the slight large side. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to have to flatten this out as well. So let's do flatten. Just grab a bigger brush. There we go. And we'll just smooth that out. Probably we'll get rid of this as well, actually. So we don't want that there. Uh, bulldoze. And go. Right, so we're going to go, where are we going to go to? Should we use the one over there? We're building new, yeah, let's use the one over there, why not? So, let's get a station over here. Go for the same size, but we'll just go for two, I think. Probably not too worried about what this is going to look like just for now. We will probably come back and improve this area, though.
Did that actually connect? No. So what we're going to do to force that to connect is just put a road in, I think. Let's do it all actually go in. There we go. It's not the most pretty thing in the world, but it will be fine for now. And we'll actually do a station in here as well. Truck station. Maybe we should have made that. Should we do it by road? Yeah, let's do it by road. That's fine. Right, let's get the track in. So, we'll start over here, obviously. I'm just going to have to deal with this. It's going to have a pretty major track go past it. Now we're going to have to do a bit of a big loop round. Try not to lose any speed. Doesn't matter if it loses any speed. I don't really want it to. Let's come out of this one. Okay, that'll be fine. And we'll use this to double track it this side, I think. Okay, for some reason that didn't connect up. Let's delete that and we'll connect it up. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Let's go and do that again. There we go. We're gonna have to remove them roads as well, these roads as well. Because I'll do a bridge, I think. Just so we're not holding anything up. Is this the right side? No, of course it's not. Or we'll make it the right side. And let's connect that up to there, like so, and we'll do the same on this side, and connect up, yes. Right, we're going to have to do some crossing points, because obviously this is just going to be one giant track to begin with. There we go. And we'll put some signals down. So signals will just go here. One that way, and we'll do the other, same at the other end. Okay, there we go. So that's that bit connected up. That's connected up there. Let's do the same over here. So I think to start off with, we'll just get the one. Is it crude oil? I can't. I can never remember. It's crude oil. Yeah, that's crude oil. Then it creates just regular oil. Let's make this a bit bigger.
the depot I think will just connect onto here, so let's go with a road depot. Just drop that there. And line, so we want to go from there to there. We'll just call that, no, we'll call that crude oil. Like so. And the next line we want to go from here to here. We'll just call that oil. And then we need to sort the port out. So let's just smooth this area a little bit more. I suppose not really smooth, it's making sure that these bits have gone. There we go. So we want a large dock. Do we make it go? Which way do we make it go? Maybe that way? Yeah, we'll do both sides. Can we put one like there? Yes, that's what we want. We want two landing ports. There we go, so they look pretty cool. I do like this port actually. So the line we're going to do then is from here all the way over here. That port's probably okay. So that's going to be fuel. What should we call it? Should we call it fuel? Yeah, let's call it fuel. And then we want to deliver fuel here. So actually this place does need, or Blackpool, does need quite a bit of fuel. So where's our fuel that we need to deliver it to? Let's go... Uh, which one do we want? So fuel actually is over here. So I'm going to do another drop off point I think so we can try and include all the places that need fuel maybe there's a good place so hopefully we'll really increase the amount of uh, industry that's there we're going to use this one I think seems we're not using that one at the minute so another new line, so we want to go from here to a new drop-off point. That was if you spell it right. You'll... Now, there we go. So what we can do straight away is buy the vehicles that we're going to put on here. So let's have a look what we've got. We want cargo. Ah, so I do quite like these. Let's go with a regular tanker. I think we'll go with six for now. There we go. We've got quite a few tools building up over here, so 61 actually is not that many. I thought there was more than that. And what we do need is... Not that. There it is, there we go, shipyard. So the actual shipyard, where should we put it? We put it down here. We put it over here. Let's put it over here. 
So what I might do is actually make this into a proper shipyard at some point. Because obviously it's just a building at the minute. Doesn't look overly interesting. And let's have a look what ships we can buy. So we want cargo. Maybe we get... Oh, look at that. that one looks pretty cool. What's that called in Berlin? So four c compartments. 252 capacity. Does it do fuel? No. So we can have that one. This one's holds even more, so it's a Virgo tanker. We just got a regular tanker. Okay, maybe we're going for that one then. Let's go with go with two. Let's go with two for now. Did I just call it? Why isn't it showing up? Can't find a path for big ships, okay. So where's the problem? There's where the problem is, okay. So it's only going to the little little dark and we want it to go to one of these bigger ones. So let's change the terminal over to terminal two. What I probably can do later is actually do two lines. So we have a boat on each. Let's try that again. Okay. Come on. Okay, we'll leave them. Let's buy some tankers down here again. So we'll go with the same thing. Let's go with... We're going to go with, no, maybe not 10, 8. So the crude oil's coming already. I wonder if I can build another crude oil well over here. Just like put it on the end. So we can make this into like a proper oil field. Next thing we need is a train, so how are we going to add the train on here? Uh, let's do it here. Not going to worry too much how this looks. Doing something weird like that. There we go. So, which train shall we go for? I think we've probably got to go. Have we got to go electric? Probably. Maybe that. I think that's the most powerful. Let's do it. And then we want to go cargo. And we just want the biggest one, don't we, really? Let's see how many can add on. I'll still be an excellent. There we go. So that is 320 capacity. So that's pretty good. We're just going to get one for now. Let's see that train come out. So we'll let that start on its way. Let's have a look how we're doing. Are we actually picking up stuff?
They are actually pretty quickly as well, so. We'll soon hopefully be transporting 100% from here. Okay, I think what we'll do is come back in a second when we've actually got some fuel coming over here. Okay, so here's the first lot of oil coming in. And what I've just done is just change the line here. So the boats, or the ships even, are going to actually wait for a full load. Off. They're going to wait for 10 minutes anyway, uh, before disappearing back. Because it's a fair way up there, so don't want them uh, having to stick around or missing the kind of fuel that's being created and then disappearing off. Then we lose everything, so. So now we're going to start making some fuel. Hopefully we've got some fuel waiting already. We have. Not very much. We do need to increase production over here. So there's only 45 there. Because it basically takes two crude oil things to make one. This is probably not going to be able to keep up. So I think what we're going to do... Where's the other one? There's another one. Oh, there's one over there as well. I think we'll connect them up in the next episode though. I think this is going to take more than one episode to actually build everything. And how are we doing over here? So we've got nine barrels of f fuel. Yeah, they're not even barrels, are they? They're kind of... whatever they are. Did they use these in real life? I can't say that's even, but... I thought they used the, the giant, like, big tanker things. They have got quite a large capacity, so 376, so they are going to take a little while to fill these up, so let's speed things up a bit, because I'm guessing that's, it's not quite used all the fuel that we dropped off, not far off. Hopefully there's going to be another train load coming shortly, let's have a look. So how much this got? 71 this time. Production really needs to kind of ramp up a little bit here. Okay, let's speed things up a little a bit again. So, where are we heading? We're nearly almost there. The train actually hasn't been full yet, so once we do that, I think it should start to improve it, I think. So we've still dropped off 80 there. Okay, so the first ship actually reached its limit of 10 minutes and has now disappeared, so it's all the way over here. It's got 101, so that's not too bad, I suppose, for the first trip. I suppose I could have waited it, made it wait unlimited amounts of time but we want to actually deliver our first lot so let's wait for it to come in here okay so the ship's nearly almost at its destination let's just watch it drop off all the fuel that's carried all the way from over there it's taken ages to be honest i didn't realize 
Well, I've forgotten how slow these are. They only use 19 miles per hour. Let's just watch it drop all the fuel off. What I might do is have a look on the uh, mod store, see if we can find anything different. If you do know of anything, drop a comment down below, see what we can replace it with these with. So this should drop off here and go all the way over there. Let's hope we don't lose it. Has it dropped everything off? I think it did. Not sure where it all went. Why has it some of it gone there? Obviously, that place here, does they, do they take fuel? Obviously they do. So obviously this place here, or wherever this line goes, covers some of the buildings that need fuel. Must be over there. The majority of it went over here. So as we can see, we've got some fuel being picked up. So this is going to be the first lot, I think. All 32 of it. It's going to see it be delivered over here. Okay, so here's our first lot of fuel being delivered. 227,000. It's not bad. There we go, so that's the round trip of fuel. First lot of fuel delivered to Blackpool. Let's have a look how that looks. Maybe they're a little bit happy about it. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. We've obviously got quite a lot to do still on the fuel refinery. We've only really built the, the infrastructure for it. We're going to make it look a lot nicer, hopefully, uh, in the next episode. And then the other areas as well. So make sure you get subscribed for that so you don't miss it. And thanks everyone for watching. And I will see you next time.